Part of what makes LG Smart TV with WebOS so smart is the way it connects with other devices. Everything from a smartphone or tablet, your PC, and of course a Blu-ray player, home theater system, or soundbar. To begin, press the home button on the Magic Remote. Then navigate to the right until you see this blue tab with the icon of the two plugs. Click on it to launch the device connector. And here we see step one, device selection. We can choose to connect a set-top box, a Blu-ray or DVD player, a home theater system, a sound bar, external speakers or a pair of headphones, a game console, smartphone, PC, external storage such as a USB drive, or another box, including a legacy device such as a VCR. We cover cable and satellite set-top boxes in our initial setup video. Let's try a sound bar. Click on that, and in the second step, you'll be informed that your TV's sound out setting will be changed automatically to accommodate your sound bar. Click Yes, then you'll be asked at which port you'd like to connect it, and you'll be shown a list of compatible outputs. These might include HDMI 2 with ARC, optical audio, and wirelessly via Bluetooth. Click on the appropriate connection, and if you're using a wired method, connect one end to the appropriate input of the soundbar and the other end to the correct output of the TV. Audio Return Channel, or ARC, is a two-way connection that can send audio from the TV out to external speakers as well as accept audio from an add-on AV device, such as a compatible soundbar that also streams audio, over a single HDMI cable. If you choose Bluetooth wireless connection using a Bluetooth soundbar, click here on Sound Out Settings to enter the sound menu, then pair the TV and the soundbar by following the on-screen instructions putting your soundbar into pairing mode and searching for it from the TV. However you connect, you'll want to click down here on the sound test to quickly confirm that the audio is indeed playing through your soundbar. If not, double check all of the steps you've taken thus far and make sure that the soundbar is powered on and the volume is at an acceptable level. Once you hear the sound test music through your soundbar, click Next. You'll learn about Simplink which allows you to control all of your LG devices that are connected by HDMI using only the Magic Remote. This setting defaults to on. Auto Power Sync will default to on as well, so when you turn on your LG soundbar in the future, the TV will power on automatically. If you prefer, you can deactivate Auto Power Sync by clicking on it, but Simplink will remain active. Click Next to find out about Universal Control which lets you use the Magic Remote to operate your soundbar, even if it's not made by LG. You'll be reminded to keep your connected soundbar no more than three feet from the TV, and not behind a door or inside a closed drawer, in order to work properly with universal control. Click Next to choose the manufacturer. Then Next again to choose the remote type, and try a few simple test functions to make sure that the Magic Remote can now operate your soundbar. Give each command a few seconds to work, because response times can vary. If this doesn't work, click on this small right arrow to switch the remote type and try again. Chances are, one of them will work with your soundbar. When it does, click Next and Universal Control Setup for your soundbar is complete. You can also return to the previous screen to make changes or back to the main page to connect another device. While you're here, you'll also see the addition of this little icon to indicate successful setup of universal control. So now the volume up-down buttons on the Magic Remote will control the volume of the soundbar when it's powered on, and you'll see these plus and minus icons at the bottom center of the screen. And so, in just a few steps, your soundbar is connected and ready to help you enjoy your LG Smart TV with WebOS even more.